Now then folks, how are we all doing? Are we all keeping safe? Um, this is just a quick video um, to show you how I purge my kegs um, with CO2 uh, prior to close transfer. Um, there's a couple of good videos on, on this sort of method already out there. Um, the, the couple I've watched are the guy from Australia and the Homebrew Network, that's really, really good. And um, Tricky's Do Brews um, video, another another good video. Um, the basic principle of this is um, to fill your keg up with uh, to the brim with star sand um, and use the, and you can, one or two, two ways of, of then purging the star sand. You either connect it up to your gas bottle and um, flush, uh, pump all the, all the star sand out with your CO2. So that leaves your keg um, just full of CO2. Um, ready for your closed transfer. The other, the other method for those who are a bit tighter who have to buy the gas is to use the CO2 that's generated in the fermenting process um, to actually push the um, star sand out of the keg. Um, and that's, that's the method I chose. Um, found it really fast. Um, it, took, uh, it pumps out the full 19 litres in, in about um, a few hours, just one afternoon, while it was uh, fermenting away happily. Um, the main thing that I that, that I've, was curious about was how do you get your gas line from your spunding valve out your fermenting fridge to your keg? Now, I've seen a couple of videos where people like drill a hole through the door or drill a hole through the side. Not a problem, I don't mind drilling a hole through the side, passing a pipe out there. Or trying to um, trying to get the, 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 uh, be the actual gas line out through the door. Well, the spunding valve is like 8 mil, um, like OD, so the pipe that fits in there, you can't. I can't get that through through my door. So this is what I came up with. Hold on, I'll flip the camera around. Here we go, guys. So here's my keg. As you can see, you've got a gas line going in, into the gas in, uh, beer out, just dropping down into my bucket, and we can see we've got a full 19 litres all pushed out of there. So into the fermenting fridge. Here's me. All rounder. Um, here's my spunding valve, and what I did, what I found is that by using a couple of converters to step up from, um, I think it's three sixteenth. That's about eight mil, up to three eighth, and then down to three sixteenth, which is what this this little skinny cable is. Um, what that means. Is then get it straight through the door with no hassle. The, the, the fridge shuts firmly all the way down into here. And I wondered, well, is it going to be thick enough to do it to, to push it out? But it's not a problem whatsoever. I say it pumps all that out within within a few hours. So um, this keg this keg's full of CO2 now and ready for, ready for close transfer when the fermentation stops. So my top tip. Um, is to use um, that skinny 316th beer line. Absolutely fantastic. Fits through the um, door, door of the fridge without drilling any holes and um, totally adequate for what we need for that. So I thought I'd pop a little video up um, just to share what I found. Take it easy, stay safe, keep making homebrew. Cheers guys, cheers. <laughs>